Hi all, good morning, good evening to everyone. Welcome to the Cobalt Tutorial 4. First of all, I would like to say sorry about I have been not been posting the videos regarding the Cobalt training due to some busy and due to some work. I couldn't post it. I'm really sorry about this. I hope I assure that going forward I would be posting more and more videos about the mainframe. So, in my last video, we have been, I have been uh, telling you about the different kinds of level numbers, and uh, in this session, I would, I would be covering the below topics. The below topics would be like what are the level numbers, assigning data, data names, what is the move, ref what is about reference modification, deconcatenation, string and unstring, evaluate, 88 level number. These are the various uh, statements and, and the commands which we would be using as part of the COBOL program. These are very important to code a COBOL program. So what is, uh, let's go ahead and look at about the level numbers. Just I will be giving a brief introduction about this. Just it is just to recollect what we had in the um, earlier session. So the, uh, the L level numbers are, are starting from 0, 01 to 49, and we have a special level numbers called 77, 66, and 88. And we all know that how do we declare the level numbers, which is using the picture class and everything. So, and this we will be talking about. What is the difference between 0, 01 and 77 lef uh, level numbers? Okay, what is uh, 0, 01? It can be coded with group or independent data name. It may or may not be coded with Peter class. It, it depends. And it can be associated with other level numbers. For example, you have student data, department data, and master data. 0, 01 student data is a group followed by a different label. I'm declaring a group where the group name is student data and the student data has the student number or it can be student ID and then student name or as and we can declare more things like student address, student telephone number and everything so on. So here I'm declaring a variable well with 0, 01 and followed by the student data as a group if I want to print this data just I can give a command called display student data then it will display the entire student number and student name if I want to display only a student number then I can simply display std display student number I mean it is it is very important to in day-to-day -day programming so be um, start making practice of this so the next is 77 level numbers it is coded with only independent data names and must be coded with picture class for for 77 picture class is mandatory and cannot be associated with other level numbers except 88 88 is also a special level numbers which we would be discussing in our latest topics the uh, where exactly the level numbers are used 77 level number is used where encoding you can be it can be used at page numbers line numbers column numbers row numbers if you have any counter so then you can be used for counter number for example 77 page number which class line of five the next topic is assigning data come on data names so whenever in the above we have seen like making use of level numbers picture class we have declared a variable now we would be seeing how to assign a values to a data names so there are two techniques in this one is static allocation and dynamic allocation I hope everyone knows what is static static is entering the data which is assigned in a variable is a constant which cannot be changed which is used by use which is added using the value class dynamic you can enter the dynamic at any time from the command so data which is assigned in a variable can be changed for every execution of a program that is called dynamic 
So value class, it is used to assign data and data names. Value class can be coded with constants. So if you are assigning a value as a sta static data, then you need to use of a value class, which is very much important. For example, 01A picture class 9 of 4 value 234. Now a 234 value is assigned to a variable called data name called A and it has a length of 9 of 4 which is a numeric data type and the output will be a left justified all the numeric variable declarations are right justified and at the same day I'm taking the exam I'm giving another, another example which is for alpha numerics so 01b which a class x of 4 value Kumar for alpha numeric and uh, alpha data types superior bytes or less justified what is dynamic allocation in this initially we will be declaring a variable then you would accept a values from a console you have to enter the data over there after accepting you can just display so this is this is dynamic it can it can be keep on changing whereas the above it is fixed it cannot be changed it is static the same thing in the above accept is the what are these accept 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 and display are the two important commands accept is the terminal input command which is used to extract the data from user and in the same way displays the terminal output command which is used to send data to the screen or to the user I hope you got you know the important you got the importance between the static and the dynamic yes keep keep in, uh, keep in mind that this plays a very important thing but in general and in, in real time we may we may may not be using this accept accept more but we will be using the display command as very much it is used for error handling or displaying the message during a program coding the same like uh, printf command if you are working with a C, C++ or Perl, anything. Move. It is another statement which is used to transfer data from one variable to another variable. Mostly while coding we will be under a situation or circumstance where we need to copy, a or, copy or move the data from one variable to another variable. So we have a statement called move. A move statement sending field can be data name or a constant but receiving should be a variable only this is the very important note you need to point one sending field and multiple receiving fields can be applied the data type of both the sending fields and receiving should be same or else it causes to an error it shows some garbage error so for example you have declared a variable with a numeric variable and the output uh, and another variable with a, a numer alpha alphabets uh, when you're trying to copy a numeric variable to alphabet data type it can't understand so it causes to an error so be cautious about this for example 01a picture class x of 4 b x of 4 move a to b here a uh, a values is copied or moved to B the same way group move the name itself indicate that it is a group move that is all characters of one group will be transferred to another group so here uh, I instead of moving individual variable I have declared a group variables called group 1 and group 2 in group 1 we have a variables I have a different side variables a b and in group 2 I have x y a b so when I'm trying to copy when I trying to move group 1 to group 2 a is copied to x and b is copied to y so here a and b are left over as blank since we have only two variables over here it will copy the first first two for uh, suppose you you if you want to copy a to a or b to b we have another command called corresponding move 
here it will copy a to a and b to b the the only one thing you need to mention is here is c o r r group 1 group 2 the is copies the corresponding variable a to a and b to b this will transfer similar data names from one group to another group note corresponding option should be specified before sending failed the next important topic is reference modification this type of move is used to transfer part of data name data to another data team and this and reference modification starting position length should be specified comma reference modification can be coded either for sending fail or a receiving fail for example i'm declaring a variable called date a with a picture class x with alphanumeric data type and at the length of x of 10 and here in this the value is 2010 10 20 so and i am declaring another variable which is empty uh, it's called date b what i'm going to do is now i'm going to take a reference from variable a and copying it to another variable called b so 6 of 2 6 is the starting position and 2 is the length and the above 1 2 3 4 5 6 so 6 is my starting position so i wanted to capture month month to another variable so i have to mention a give a starting position as 6 and its length is 2 so the same way i have mentioned 6 is to 2 where you want to copy it into the date b so for me uh, i'm already copying the same position in the date b so i will give as date b start position and uh, length of it so now the output of this date b will be like 10 and this uh, that's that was about the reference modification this is this is also place a very important command or a statement uh, while coding in a COBOL program so better to practice more on this reference modification we have another command called string and unstring string is used to concatenate multiple variable into a single variable it is always termi it is either terminated with dot or an end string so for example you have a multiple variables where you wanted to concatenate into a single variable for example i'm declaring a variable for year month and date so instead of printing each variable different separately so i want to merge this in and store it into a single variable so for this i'm declaring a variable called ws date which is of 10 bytes whereas year is of 4 bytes month is of 2 bytes and date is of 2 bytes so how how can i copy this so how can i concatenate this so you have to use you string the variable called yy year uh, hyphen mm hyphen dd hyphen delimited by size which say it is delimited by size into a ws state so now and with and a string with and string or and dot important point over here if you are if you are using a terminate if you are ending the string statement with dot over here you you should not make use of dot in any of this variable output how the output looks so now the output is like 2014-0506 so you can see a like this is entirely a 8 bytes and 10 bytes what are the extra 2 bytes extra 2 bytes are separated by this so a small correction over here you should not use this yes now it looks perfect in the same way unstring unstring is a quite opposite of the string it is used to deconcatenate concatenate string variable into multiple variables the example unstring w stage delimited by hyphen into y by mmdd and unstring so in the above we are trying to concatenate now i'm trying to deconcatenate 
answering the earliest date of the delimited by hyphen the above it was like size now the delimited is hyphen and it can be a stars or anything so for example in real time like we will be getting a, a record which is having with the delimited has comma delimited by comma so we would be finding for delimited by comma and we will be storing those we will capture those particular values and store it into a variables different variables and we use those variables for a multiple operations so that was all about the string and concatenate uh, and string so now if we are entering into a conditional statement if if it is in a conditional statement it is used to check conditions and throw the results this is uh, this is very well known for I all it is the same syntax followed in many i mean we have been work when we were working with c c++ java or other technologies so we if let's go ahead and look at this if statement how what is the syntax we need to follow in the mainframe or cobol for example accept color if color is equal to red then display color is red else if color is equal to white then display color is white else if color is orange then display color orange you need to terminate the if by and if we have since we have three ifs so you need to close it with three and ifs instead of using three and ifs you can also use a dot and then you need to make sure that you are not have you are not adding any period in this block okay that was about the if condition the next one is like evaluate evaluate is another command alternate to to if it is, be it is better to use evaluate is the using of evaluate is the best practice as a programmer so evaluate true when color equal to red display color is red the same way color equal to blue display color is blue when other display invalid and uh, and evaluate that's it it's very simple the next and the uh, the last final one for this session is iterate level number it is a special level number which is used to define conditions notes iterate level number is always coded with value class without picture class this is the only special variable which is which doesn't use as any picture class iterate level number should always associated with other level numbers 0 1 to 49 or 77 for example 0 1 marks picture class 9 of 3 so 88 I'm coding it as if the distinction value 70 through 100 if it is a first class the value should be 80 if it is second class the value should be 50 so what I'll do is just first I will accept a marks so user is entering a marks then I will code a condition like if distinction greater than 70 and less than 70 then display display distinction in the same way else if first class equal to 60 then display first class else if second class equal to 50 display second class and if so that's it that's it about the level numbers so this was all about this this is about about the tutorial for for the cubo cobol i hope everyone might have understand about this Thank you for watching. I will be coming up with many more videos in my next session. Have a good day.